My name is Patty Kazar, and I am from uh, Southern California, San Diego. I found out I had um, uh, invasive ductal carcinoma in November of 2009. I found this out through a mammogram and then also an ultrasound. And uh, they did a biopsy, and it it was proven at that point that it was um, invasive uh, ductal carcinoma. And then I was set up from the hospital and my uh, physician to do the normal um, traditional uh, protocol in America, which is surgery and chemo and radiation. And I wasn't, I wasn't comfortable with that. I felt in my heart of hearts that there, there was another way, there must be another way. And so I started to do research and I found out um, Dr. Simoncini's name from Dr. Mercola's website in Chicago. And I had printed that out, oddly enough, two years uh, in uh, 2007. So even and before I, you knew you had cancer? Yes, yes. It was just an amazing situation. And I remembered printing this out, and so I retrieved it from my files. And that's when I began uh, extensive research with Dr. Simoncini. And I, I just knew that this was something I wanted to delve into deeper and possibly treat myself with his, his method. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, before you decided for Simoncini, did you consider any other alternative treatment? I had, through my research, I found out about a doctor, uh, uh, Brzezinski. Brzezinski, yeah. Yes, in mm -hmm. Houston, Texas. And Dr. Brzezinski still had a certain amount of uh, traditional protocol and I, I I just did not feel comfortable with that. So you just basically knew Simoncini was your choice? It's exactly. Intuitively. I had, I had read about a lot of other treatments, doctors, their protocol, and not one of them felt as right as Dr. Simoncini's did. And after I made that decision to go to Rome, I was I was completely confident that this was now, before you went to Rome, did you do any of the traditional uh, protocols like uh, chemo or radiotherapy? No, I, d I did no um, traditional methods whatsoever. I didn't, I did not feel comfortable with any of those procedures from all of the research that I did. It just didn't resonate for me. So when did you fly to Rome? I flew to Rome on March 17, 2010, St. Patrick's Day, and I started my treatment on March 22nd, and I had treatment for eight days in a row, and I feel, uh, I feel the treatment was was very simple, very easy. This was I injections in the breast? Injections in my left breast. I was diagnosed with uh, invasive ductal carcinoma and the uh, pain would last maybe 10 minutes or so and then go away. I was completely pain free and like I say this went on for eight days and after I asked doctor what the follow-up would be and he said in a month and a half get an ultrasound which I did and that proved there was no growth no um, problems that they could see at that time and then every three months after that I went in for an ultrasound to, to see what the proce process was and monitor it. So how many ultrasounds have you done that resulted negative after the eight day cycle? I have had uh, six ultrasounds from the, uh, uh, the t uh, 2010 
until last year, and I just have gotten my uh, CT scan, and they could not find any abnormalities and whatsoever. This, this CT scan, uh, what date was it? When, when was it done? It was, de it was uh, the last part of November of 2011. 11. So basically you went from April of 2010, you finished the treatment, and by November 2011, so a year and a half, you had at least eight different checks and no more presence of cancer no. noticeable. No. no. Do you feel cancer is gone from you? I do. I feel I, I'm cured. I, I really do. And I am extremely grateful to Dr. Simoncini for treating me. Have you tried to go back to your original oncologist here and tell him what happened to you? No, I did not go back to her. My primary doctor rec referred me out to a different oncologist and he uh, ordered a PET scan for me from the um, chin down to the knee to see if anything was going on, any metastasizing or any problems at all, and they didn't find anything. And I had gone back to him for a, a CAT scan, and that was in uh, November uh, 2011. And that CAT scan didn't mention anything about breast cancer or any problem. And I went for a follow-up consultation with him, and in the uh, course of our conversation, he said, I asked him about my, my blood test. I, I showed him my comprehensive blood testing, and the reason I did is to show him the CA15 uh, report. I asked him to also let me have a T cell test and he said from this current blood test there's no need for you to have a t-cell everything looks fine your um, lymph nodes are fine there's no metastasizing there doesn't seem to be any activity in in your breast and he said are you sure that you ever did have cancer and I said well I had a biopsy and he said well you're looking good you're looking real good and he said, just keep up what you're doing. And I, I, feel, I feel wonderful about it.